Hello, it's Leontine from Little Lovely Crafts. In today's video, I will share how I made this cute pink shaker card. It's all about cherry blossom and that the squirrels are very happy that they can go outside again. I'm going to show you the most important steps on how I colored these images. I'm starting off with a branch and I'm using three E50 markers and I've got them all listed down below if you're curious about which ones I used. I'm starting off with the darkest color and then I'm working my way up to the lightest color. Some of these branches will point to the right, others to the left, and I'm always making sure that my shadow is on the bottom of the branch. I wanted to go with cherry blossom and of course it's all pink. I'm starting off with a dark color in the center and then I am going to fade it out to lightest color on the edges of the leaves. If you're interested in how I colored these images, you can keep watching. Otherwise, you can skip ahead to about 4 minutes and 52 seconds. I used 110 pound white cardstock from Lawn Fawn to die cut these scalloped frames and I'm going to attach them together using liquid glue. 
this outside in stitched rectangle stackable is going to become a pink background. So I'm using spun sugar first and then I'm going around the edges with some kitsch flamingo. And my spun sugar is almost empty but I'm unfortunately unable to find a refill anywhere near me. So I'm pressing down firmly on my ink pad and luckily I've been able to cover my entire panel. Off camera I used the outside in stitch rectangle stackables on some Lawn Vaughn vellum as well and these are the three pieces that I'm going to need for my card base. Now I'm moving on to the sentiment. I used the stamp Happy Spring and that's from the Simply Celebrate Spring stamps and I'm going to use clear ink and then some white embossing powder. As you can see I made sure that I only put ink on Happy Spring. I used ballet slippers cardstock with the everyday sentiment banners. Since ballet slippers is a very light color, I'm going around the edges with my pink distress oxide brush and I'm hoping that whatever is left on it will rub off a little on my sentiment banner. Before attaching the vellum to the frames, it's very important to adhere all of the stamps first, otherwise you won't be able to see them. So that's what I'm doing first. I've line them up a bit and I'm just going to put glue on the places where I think it's lined up the best. Now this stamp with all of the birds is a little bit too long. I'm going to cut off two of the birds and I'm making sure to leave a white border around both sides of those birds. That way it doesn't really look like I altered it at all. I'm continuously checking to see if my placement is still okay because once it's glued on it's glued on <laughs> and we don't want to make a mistake and have to rip off any of the stamps later. Now that all of my blossom and the leaves are attached, I can just cut off whatever is sticking out from those scalloped edges. Mm -hmm. 
Now that step is done, I can attach everything to the vellum. I'm making sure to put glue around the edges of my frame, but also on the back of all of those stamped images. And then I position the vellum and I press down on both the back and the front side. I already love the look of that pink peeking through the vellum. I'm going to attach my squirrel and I decided whether or not I would have some blossom pieces falling from the branches, but I decided not to go with it. I'm using very small strips of foam. They are two millimeters thick and that's the perfect height for my shaker elements to move around. I'm making sure that I'm closing up the entire frame because I do not want anything to fall out of my card later on. I'm using various things to fill up my shaker card, but I'm also using a few things from little things from Lucy's cards. And I really love the Mother of Pearl sequin mix and those bright stars. I don't want to use too much or too little. I think this is the right amount of shaker elements. Now I'm closing off my card by putting on my background and I'm carefully attaching it hoping that I can get it on straight. Some of my sequins are getting stuck on the foam it seems so if you want to prevent that you could always go around the edges with some of your anti-static powder. I didn't do that but if you shake hard enough those pieces will fall and move around again. The last thing to do is attach it to a card base and then the card is all done. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. I love how it turned out and I'm hoping to inspire you to make something like this as well. I'm curious though, are you gonna use pink as well or are you going to use a different color? You could put that in the comments down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I would also love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and that I will see you next time. Bye!